Hey there, guys. How's it going? Flip mod 14. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, in the last episode, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon, the trading card game. Uh, let me switch decks before I get too far here. Oh, good. We are on Psy Paunch. Cool. Um, before we get too far, um, last time we defeated, uh, Murray, and we got the, let me show my status screen here. Yeah, we got the Psychic Club, uh, medal. So now we're up to five in this game. Uh, volume seems kind of low. Oh, no wonder it is, because it is low, Josh. Yeah, that sounds good. Not too loud. Okay, well, let's continue. So, um, by the way, once you have five medals, uh, let's check around at Ishihara's real quick. Uh, what's up, buddy? Hi, Flood. There aren't any cards I want or can trade at the moment. Let's trade some other times. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ishihara. I don't know if we've already done... No, no, no. There's no way we've already done all the trades with him. Um, but after you beat five medals, yeah, come here to the challenge hall. By the way, this is actually very missable. Uh, and if you wait till there are... You've got six medals, this event will pass, so... Greetings, welcome to the challenge hall. To defeat the three opponents here, and you should be presented with a wonderful gift. Okay, let's come up here. Ah, we do not accept entrance. Okay, what do you have to say? You can't go past this point. It's restricted. Hmm, and there's someone over there. Do they look familiar? Well, they might. Yeah, and actually, we have defeated the water metal. That looks like either Sarah or Amanda. So, from the water club. Anyway, let's go over here and see what happens. Uh-oh, it's Ronald. Hey, Flood Mob 14, we meet again, buddy. Yeah, no matter who enters this challenge cup, I'll be the winner. Level 8. Mew, this club's prize will belong to me. Why don't you just go home and give up? See ya. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you spoiled it. Well, the prize here is level eight. Mew. Hey now, sound show. Hey now, I gotta give it a try. Hey now, I gotta beat two, three people. Hey now, I'm gonna watch win the prize. I'm good enough to compete in this challenge cup. Girls are just as good as boys. Pokemon trading card game. Yep, it's all about the heart of the cards. Gender doesn't matter. Champ. Times can see if my training's paid off. I'm gonna win the challenge kit, get a grandmaster. All right, I don't know why I gave him the Hercule voice so. I don't lose any whipper snapper. I'm going to win this challenge kit. Okay, uh, I wonder if Masonator gave us any email. Nope, okay. Alrighty, let's just go in a, a duel, shall we? Uh, I'd advise to save, you know, here, just because, oh uh, yeah, you, you kind of do want the prize, so. Let's not even, let's not even pretend to, I'm going to save on state one here, in case we don't win for some reason. Uh, let's talk to this person. Level 8 Mew, the game will be a one match duel with four prizes. Uh, would you like to enter? Yeah. So we might be here, you know, one or two episodes or whatever, but anyway, let's see who we we're going to be doing. Well, things are heating up here at the Challenge Cup. Presently, Floodmon14 is still a contender. Wait, what? That's clearly a girl on the other side. That's not me. Floodmon14 is the new challenger. What? There'll be four prizes. Okay, let's go begin. And it is Sarah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, normally, I mean, thank God it's not Amanda with her uh, wiggly tough strat. But yeah, normally you only play Sarah for two prizes, so this should be kind of interesting. Hmm. No basics? Okay, yes, she's got Sea King, Slowbro. Yeah, she's got kind of a mixture of a Psychic and uh, Water Deck. So let's see uh, what we got here. Uh, what do I have? Just Mr. Mime? Hmm. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I saved before I started this. Let's just say that Mr. Mime, not a really good starting Pokemon. Mainly because Invisible Wall yeah, is not really going to do much here in the early game. Oh my god, and she has Star You. Well, we're going to need to draw Pokemon real, real quick, or this is going to be over. Well, there's Mew. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, what do I even do here? I guess I'll throw Mew on the bench and put an energy on it. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have to use Scoop Up on our first turn. That is nuts, just so we don't get uh, quickly KO KO'd here. Um, what else does she have? Poliwag? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll throw Mr. Mime on the bench, too, and I'll use this energy search for a Psychic really quick. Uh, there we go. And, uh, Mew, you're up. Sideway, buddy. 
Love the sound effects. Awesome. Okay, Sarah, what do you got? Yeah, our attack can only do 10 damage. Hers can do 20 per hit. Pretty good. It's almost like starting with a Hitmonchan, but with 30 less HP. Uh, yeah, so maybe not so good, but hmm. we'll just soften it up for Mr. Mime. And, uh, well, I guess if I put a Psychic on Mr. Mime next turn, it can take out, uh, Staryu here, funnily enough. Okay, yeah, so let's just do just that. Um, okay, we'll retreat dear Mew there. And we'll go with Mr. Mime, Meditate. And that'll do 30 damage. Bye-bye, Staryu. The Menace is down. Macho. Yeah, strikes back, seismic toss. All right, Poliwag. Yeah, Poliwag can do water again. 10 or 20, just depends on how much uh, water energy she's got. Mewtwo. All right, this duel's looking up. This duel's looking a little bit better, I'd say. Uh, and we have energy retrieval, correct? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll throw this double colorless on YouTube. Sure, why not? And we'll just use a uh, meditate. I mean, meditate. You know. All right, ten damage. All right. What a what a pawn. What a gun. Well, I guess she can knock us out next turn, but uh, she's not putting any energy or Pokemon down. Which, hey, that's good for us, right? Um, I guess I will. I doubt we'll get the stuff from my champ, so let's just use Retrieval, take back the Psychic, put the Psychic on Mewtwo, and let's just use Meditate for now. If nothing else, we can use uh, Energy Absorption and get back uh, the energy from Mr. Mime when it dies here. So, uh, Oh, no, she didn't even get an extra en water energy, so... Yeah, despite... Uh, I mean, this duel looked very, very, very bad to start off with, but... Uh, Despite that, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess she just got just as unlucky as us, so 40 damage with that meditate. Holy crap. Psychic from you two. Sweet. So if this thing gets an energy and knocks us out, we can knock out Squirtle. Oh, didn't even get the energy. Well, I think I'll retreat, uh, dear Mr. Mime, then, shall we? Let's get rid of the fighting energy. Mewtwo. Go Mewtwo. Cyber attack. Nice, 40 damage. All right, and we get to use the Dex namesake, Cyburn. You know what? Retreat for your far fetched, a far fetched, a far fetched. Oh no, she didn't even retreat. Well, I don't need to do anything. Just Cyburn, and we win. Easy, easy first match. Easy first match. Okay, there we go. You won the duel with Sarah. Nice. All right, well, somehow we got a crap draw, but we pulled through in that one. It's a very good thing that we drew Mew right when we did. Otherwise, we could have lost that one pretty easily. Congratulations, the winner is Floodmon14. Flood has defeated one opponent. Most unfortunate, Sarah, have a tri safe trip home. Heh, <laughs> see ya. Let's meet our next challenger. Who is this? Oh, it's Heather of the Grass Club? Ooh, actually, you know what? Prepare your deck. Yes. Make your preparations. Okay. Believe it or not, uh, you remember how in the Grass Club, like, we did get the Grass Metal right, but, like, a lot of the trainers there used, like, Eevee decks, like, a lot of colorless Pokemon. Uh, that one lady used, like, Lick of Tongues and stuff, and, of course, uh, the final person, Brittany, she used, like, a weird mixture of cards. Long story short, I remember the people in the Grass Club using a bunch of, uh, colorless Pokemon. So we're not gonna go with Side Punch. We'll go with, uh, I could just go with Burning Soul and roast them, but no, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll play fair. We'll go with the Nito family deck, so. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just don't want to get, you know, stalled by colorless Pokemon. Uh, prepare your deck? Uh, no. All right, let the second match begin, and we'll switch back to Cyburn for Ronald. Kaleidoscope deck. Yeah, I think she does have, uh, some Eevees or something. She's got some colorless Pokemon, trust me. Pretty sure that was a good decision. Two Nidorans, good, good, okay. All right, she's got a bench Pokemon too. We're going second, okay. Porygon, yeah, 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 yeah. Good thing we switched. Porygon naturally resists uh, Psychic, so. Changed our weakness to fire. Well, that's interesting. Last, huh? 
Oh, she's got just two Porygon? Okay, well, if she does use the conversion moves, I guess that we'll just, uh, should I just play last year? Yeah, I don't even have any, uh, what does this do? Yeah, I don't even have any trainer cards. This is perfect. Go last. Check the opponent's hand. Ah, Venomoth. Vaporeon. Yeah, this is like the Evolution deck. Uh, what Heather has here. So, it's a good thing we switched decks. Okay, so get rid of that Mr. Fuji there, girl. And I'll attack with Fury Swipes. Yeah. Ooh, did we get one more? Ooh, get pwned. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Three heads in a row. <laughs> uh, get ready, guys. That may be the only time you see that in this LP from Nidoran. I mean, I'm hoping for better things, but uh, let's be real here. That was pretty lucky. That was pretty lucky. All right. I guess we'll just attack with Fury Swipes again. Why not? And here come the three tails. Oh, okay. Okay. Never mind. We got at least one heads. We got... I was going to say, you know, three tails... It kind of balances out, let's be honest. Eevee! Well, uh, Vaporeon is ready. Our weakness is now electric, which, well, that's interesting. But, uh, well, I could really use a Nidorina about now. Um, let's just throw this on Nidoran. I don't know, maybe I'll actually use Call for Family and search for a Nidoran male here at some point. Uh, if I can get another Heads, we'll knock it out. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, we got two easy knockouts there with the Porygon, so that was a pretty lucky start for us. Uh, another Grass. Okay. Well, uh, Vaporeon's coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, luckily she doesn't have the energy for it yet, so... I guess we'll just wail on it. We'll attack it in the meantime, and, uh... Yeah, I really don't know what else to say here. Uh, let's just get to swiping. Uh... Okay, 10 damage, 20. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, Nidoran's actually, female, is actually pretty good. It's got a lot of HP, can potentially do a lot of damage, and she's just using focus energy, so. And she, it says she has only one card in her hand, and we know she, we know she had Venomoth earlier. Ooh, 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 that can be good. Okay, uh, Nido Queen, what do you take, buddy? Boyfriends, right. So it would just do 20. Okay, and Mega Paunch. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and play this. Yep. Yeah. Pokemon Breeder for Needle Queen. Alright, and let's, uh, yeah, I'd much rather evolve and do the guaranteed 20 damage here. In case she draws into, like, a Super Potion or something. And next turn, 15 damage is coming. Mega Paunch. Ah, getting your water energy, huh? Well not going to be much good. Yeah, focus that energy. Focus it's a lot. Alright, the other queen's ready with Mega Paunch now. She should use boyfriends, though. <laughs> Alright. They pour you on down. These duels are going pretty well. Alright. Oh, she didn't even put it on this ditto to morph, so... That's gonna be it, boys and girls. And we got the Nidal Rhino to end it. Uh, no need to do anything. Mega Punch. Nice, Nidal Queen. Nice. That worked out pretty well. That worked out pretty well. All right. I'm liking the Nidal family deck. All right, Heather. Way to go, Flood. That's two wins. One more opponent to, to go before winning the Challenge Cup. Most unfortunate, Heather. Have a safe trip home. All right. And who's next? Let's meet our next challenger. Oh, oh, oh. Third opponent is Ronald. Hey, flip my 14. I'm not gonna lose to you. Yeah, level 8 mute. Belong to me. Yeah. With that, let the third match begin. Are your decks ready? No, no, no. Let's uh, mess with our deck first. And uh, I guess we can save here just in case. Um, let's go with Psy Paunch. There we go. All right, let's diary this. All right, Ronald, let's do it, buddy. Well, Flood, let the third match begin, and final match begin. Ronald, Flood, are you ready? Invincible Ronald deck. Isn't that the deck you used at the last Challenge Cup? And it failed, right? Uh, 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 uh. And we get the Ronald theme. Ronald Weasley, all right. Uh, let's just start with Abra, because we can... F well, actually, we got Kadabra. Ooh. Change of plans. We're going to start with Machop. And we'll put uh, Abra on the bench. 
All right, let me go first, Rattle. Oh, okay, buddy. What you got? Kangaskhan. Good thing we start with a fighting Pokemon. Fetch. So he's going to start drawing some cards. Until he can use Comet Paunch, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, Fetch. Pretty good. I love this card. Uh, draw a card. Yeah, with four, you can do Comet Punch. But this thing has 90 HP. Pretty good. Uh, he might switch to a Scyther here, too, which resists fighting. So... Uh, luckily, though, we do have some Psychic Pokes, so we can uh, take out this Grimer pretty easy. But for now, let's just do this on my shop. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll build up Kadabra for the eventual switch to the Scyther. So. Uh, yeah, Toxic Gas. Ignore all Pokemon powers other than Toxic Gases. This power stops working while Muck is asleep, confused, or paralyzed. So basically, if you keep Muck on the bench, all other Pokemon powers are ignored. Pretty good card, pretty good card. Alright, we got two Psychic. You know what? Just to protect his HP, let's evolve to Kadabra right here. And should I put Mew on the bench? Why not? Alright, my top low kick, and that does should do extra damage, because Kangaskhan is a heavy Pokemon. You gonna use the Switch card, Ronald? Fetch, no, okay. Well, at least we do get the free knockout of uh, Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan! Alright, energy on Kodabra. And let's, uh, almost hit done there, but no. Let's low kick him. Alright, early prize fighting energy. Okay, might need that later. Scyther's almost ready. Uh, okay, so he's gonna use Slash here on Machop. Alright, so we'll wanna switch out Machop. Um, I don't necessarily need to use Energy Surge. So let's just put this energy on Kadabra. And we'll switch to Kadabra. Alright, Kadabra, Super Size, Super Sonic, Electronic, if you're ready, and play Super Sonic, boom! Yeah, 50 damage, suck on that, Scyther. Gusta win! Aw, oh, well, down goes, uh, down goes Machop. Alright. Alright, alright. Smart move there, Ronald. Smart move. I don't like use losing my fighting Pokemon, but, uh, you know, and honestly, uh, what Pokemon does he have out? Hang on. Can I, uh, can I check? I can. Okay. So let's examine his play area. So he's got a uh, opponent's Pokemon. So he's got Muck and Geodude. Okay, yeah, maybe I should switch back into Kadabra. I was thinking like, hey man, maybe I should just throw Mew out here. <laughs> Cause this thing has uh, three energy. So with its, uh, oh, Legaton, nice. I hate, hate, hate when the opponent is using this card, but when I draw it, it feels, oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. Um, okay, so we just got one energy in the discard pile. Let's search for a Psychic energy. Uh, oh, and we were just about to draw my champ too, but well, it's a good thing I shuffled our deck, because we don't really need, you know. Uh, let's put this on, you know what, we'll save the Psychic energy. Maybe I'll want to use Recover? I don't know. Alright, Super Psy. Get him, Kadabra. And we can one-hit Geodude, so what are you going to do, Ronald? Got my second prize, buddy. Geodude. Okay, you gonna evolve it or something? Uh, it's just a, it's just easy money in here. Easy street. Okay, now that we got extra psychic energy, one on me, so it can use, um, can use what's that attack called? Psy wave. Yeah, yeah. All right, easy prize. Man, we got lucky with the draws on this one. We got Abra early and Kadabra. Man, feels good. Got a fighting energy. All right, Scyther. Scyther! Yeah, let's see what you got. Oh, double colas. Not bad, Ronald. Not bad, not bad. So, yeah, so it looks like Kadabra's gonna go down here. Um, unless we can do something about it. Uh, well, actually, I think we just won, guys, unless this guy uses potions or something. Because, uh, I'm actually just gonna let Kadabra do the damage here. Um, feels bad to see Kadabra go down, but yeah, that's 50. And if you KO me, I'll KO you with, a Psy, uh, Psy Wave or whatever Mew has. Okay, yeah, so you get your second prize. But I've got Mew back in here. And 
and uh, yeah, we don't even need to do anything. I'll just put this on mute and uh, side wave. We win, right? That is game, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, dude, that was quick. That was way quicker than I expected. I expected this to take maybe two episodes, you know, uh, one episode to get to Rome, and then a final episode from Rono, but man, the side paunch deck just, just obliterated him, man. Exodia, obliterate. Congratulations, you defeated three opponents. Hehe, <laughs> most unfortunate, Ronald. Do try again in the next challenge, Cap. Shoot, I got a bad deal. A bad deal? What? Bro, you started with Kangaskhan, drew a bunch of cards, got a double colorless? Bad deal? Nah, son. Yeah, look my 14. I'll win next time. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> a bad deal. Get out of here with that. The winner of the challenge cup is Floodmon14. Your prize is a level 8 Mew. There we go. There we go, guys. There we go. Alright. And check this Mew out. Uh, I think we've seen this Mew before in the second club, but uh, yeah, neutralizing shield. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to Mew by evolved Pokemon. So uh, it stops working when Sleep Confused Paralyzed and Psy Shock, you know, 10. One Psychic, 10 damage, flip a coin of hits, Paralysis. So rare that it is said to be a mirage by many experts. Only a few Pokemon have seen it worldwide. Congratulations, Flood. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, guys, and with that, our business is done here. So let's just head to, uh, let's head to the lab for no particular reason. And let's edit our deck. Actually, we can save now that we got the promotional Mew. So let's edit our deck, yeah. So this is our side punch deck. Uh, the promotional Mew is... Uh, we got two Mewtwo's. Uh, which one do I like better? This Mew with Psywave Wave and 50 or this one? Well, Neutralizing Shield is kind of OP, so I'll swap it, but uh... Okay, that was pretty successful. Uh,